Good morning, class, and welcome to say it. Naughty notes. notes. All right, we are now going. We're going to do a compass rotation. We're going to do a rotation. We're going old school. You all have the hand out in front of you, and we are going to rotate this quadrilateral about point P. You're going to need several instruments. You need a straight edge. You're going to need a protractor, and you're going to need a compass. So, oh, you missed on that. Right there. All right. Now, unlike the other aspect of, a, of this chapter, remember we were doing this coordinate plane. There's no coordinate rules. This is a physical construction. It's not a pure Euclidean construction because we're using a protractor. So it's, it goes beyond just using compass and straight edge. But here it goes. It's still got a lot of merit. We're going to start, I want you to start by, we're going to draw the segment PA. So just take your straight edge you know, and just draw a ray or a segment PA. And mine looks a little bit like that. Now, it, you don't need to put the fancy arrow on it. I'm just showing you you could extend it beyond. But we're going to draw, or we're going to measure 143 degrees. And it should be stated first that with, if I didn't specify direction, we're going to say it's counterclockwise or anticlockwise because that's, that's the way we rotate math. So I want you to drag your protractor. And you remember, all of you are using the same protractors. These are your HSGQE protractors. Notice you put the vertex on the P. Put, uh, and all your vertices, if you're using your own protractor, the vertex may be elsewhere. But the vertex of your protractor is right down here. There's a little tick mark for it. You're going to align it with this ray. Now, I get this question a lot about counting. Remember, which scale to use, inside or outside? Looking at this protractor, which scale is it? The inside, and if we want 143, which, which scale? Bless you, which scale do you want? Well, okay, look at it again. Look at, look at it, because we all know this is 90 degrees. That's 100. That's 110, 120, etc. This is 140. And you know, if you're confused about which scale, you can always rely on the fact that when you are traveling, You've got to say, well, as I swing counterclockwise, the numbers are increasing on the inside scale. So it must be the inside scale. Also, you know you're making an obtuse angle. So we're looking at 140. You find the 140 here, and then you've got to use the fine tick marks up top to try to get three more. So make yourself a little point up there. You can make yourself a little point as best as you can at 143. And then, of course, you're going to line up your straight edge, and you're going to draw like that. Ready? Draw. Whoa! Beautiful. I'll move my protractor out of the way. At this point, what you've got is an angle. You've got a 143-degree angle. And we're, we're done as far as the protractor on this point. We've got an angle. All we need is something that starts with a D. D distance. Oh, all right. That that we'll take that D. And we're going to use this. We're going to use the C thing. What's the thing with a sharp sharp point? It's a compass. All right. Well, we're going to, we're going to take the needle. Put the needle on the P. And you're going to swing the compass passing through A, just like you've done before. And we swing it passing through A. You're going to make sure that arc extends. You can put one continuous arc, but I'm going to caution you against being too dark because then you won't be able to see your drawing. Make your, make your construction marks light. But I do want them. You swing the arc, and right there, right there, the intersection of this arc and your, the ray that I have in red, red ray, is going to be point, what are we going to name that point? A, when, it, when we translate something, we name it with the prime, optimus prime. That's going to be A prime. Uh, 
No, that's not so bad. So for construction marks, you've got two rays. You've got two compass swings. Now, for a practical matter, when you put the needle on the P, you might want to get a dynamic swing. Swing it through A, so don't just line it up static on A. We've talked about this at great length before. You want to swing it so the arc actually goes through A. You're getting a better read. And you don't need to draw the complete figure. You could just you can just put the little arcs where you anticipate or see that you're going to have the intersection. All right. All right. I'm going to hide my construction marks. Yours, yours are staying on there. Don't worry, I'll, I'll put them back up at the end. But we're going to do a couple other points. The next point, PB, is more interesting because, see, there's no segment there, PB. Well, actually, there's no segment for any of them. So I'm going to line up my straight edge and draw a ray, PB. Just like we did before, you're going to put the vertex, vertex on P, and you need to count, like the count, 90, la ha ha ha. 100, now I'm going this way, 120. How many degrees? Oh yeah, 143. Or you can say 150, I'm going to go back. This must be 140. You've got to use the fine divisions are on top. Even though you're using the inside scale, you can read the single degree increments from the top of the scale. That's how a protractor is designed. Put a mark on your 143. Rotate that figure. Look at that. And draw in PB. There it is. So, again, you have reproduced angle or the 143 degree angle with vertex at P. And then you're going to take your compass tool or your compass, sorry, I'm using the sketch pad, you put the needle on the P, swing that arc through, B. You've got an arc here, and we all know for a compass, we use a compass to transfer distance. That is going to transfer your distance. Now, don't worry, if you, if you get behind, you miss one point, you can always get this on Monty Oaks tonight. Then, you put in Mark your point, B prime. The rotation of B will be B prime. Right. We've got two points. Now, if you're going ahead of me, that's OK, too, because some of you have got this figured out. And what you're going to do is you're, going, you're just going to repeat this procedure. We're going to draw from P to C and rotate or measure an angle. OK, let's do that. So if you fall behind here, just work on the current point we're all on. In other words, let's work on C. Even if you haven't got, even if you missed B, draw your say, draw your ray PC. Put your vertex. Look at that. And again, I count my, I find my 140. I add three more up there, and I put in. I draw my ray. I made a, again, a 143 degree angle. Time for the compass. Swing compass from P. Wah, right through C. Oh, look at that. So I'm going to swing my compass from P passing through C. And I'll define that next intersection as C prime. All right, for the high achievers, I'll zip ahead to D, and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll show all the construction marks. Let's go from P to D with my straight edge.
marking out my 143 degree angle right there. I'm going to move my instrument, get that happy compass Woo. right there. Mark the intersection. The intersection of these two is going to be D prime. And we're da -da 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 finished. Love it. When I connect, when I connect my four rotated points, that's what I've got. And that's your finished product. Now to help everyone out, we're going to go back. Let's just, I'll reinstate my construction marks. Those were the construction marks for A prime, for B prime, Charlie prime, and there we go. There's D prime. Look at that. So if you missed it, you can get it tonight on, everybody, where? Nani Notes. Goodbye, Nani. Hey. All right. Okay, so let's take this. We're going to take this quadrilateral, and we are going to rotate it around JKLM by 111 degrees. Notice the point of rotation is on the inside of the figure. So let's see how let's see how we do with this one. And let's start on on drawing a. Take your straight edge and draw a ray QJ. Ray J. Ray J. And when we rotate, you know, I didn't say this before, but uh, if I don't specify, we're going to always be rotating counterclockwise, as is the direction that we're going to be using in mathematics throughout your careers. So it be counter or anti-clockwise. That's, that's lined up with your ray. And again, you're looking at, you got your vertex lined up with a Q. You find 90, 100, 110, and then maybe a wee bit more. Go to the outside scale to get that extra degree. You can line up with your straight edge. And there you go. So I move this out of the way. What I've got is a 111 degree angle. And I need to now mark a point of intersection. Go to put my compass, the needle on Q, swing it through J. So I'm now transferring the distance, QJ, and swinging that arc through my ray, my ray that makes my 111 degree angle today. And what point am I going to label there? The rotation of J will be J prime. Now, like in the other problems, I'm going to hide my construction marks as we go, but you're going to make yours nice and light. So I don't want you to delete them. It isn't a true, you, this is not a true Euclidean construction because we are actually, after all, measuring an angle. So it's not just a compass straight edge construction, but this is, this um, will serve the purpose for this class. I'm now going to draw a ray through K. Q, K. K. Well, that's what we're doing. And at every time you're going to put in Q is going to be the vertex of your angle. Find your 110 and, one, and a wee bit more. Find your 111 degree mark. Oops. Find your 111 degree mark and then use your straight edge to draw, to draw a ray. And again, you should have a 111 degree angle there. Take your compass, put the sharp point on the Q, swing an arc through K, transfer that distance up here through that red ray, that new ray that you've drawn, and the point of intersection we'll call 
when we rotate k, it's going to be, everybody, what is it? K prime. K prime. So, yeah, so we can hide, we'll hide this mark. So we're getting better at this, so we can speed her up just a wee bit. QL would be there, marking it with my straight edge. I'm going to line up a straight edge or my protractor with a vertex on Q. I read my 111 degrees. And then we draw with our straight edge. Oh, you can't be running out of paper because this will fit. If it doesn't fit on your worksheet, you made a mistake. Let's take that, our compass, swing an arc through L and through this ray, and we'll define that point as rotation of L or L prime, optimus prime. One more. QM. Yes, it would. You're welcome to use your own. Oh. Guys, focus. I measure my 111 degrees. I'll move my compass out of the way. Rotation of M would be M prime. And getting rid of all the marks, you can see I have four points. If I join them, I'm going to have this, this figure. This figure, the red image, would be the rotation of JKL, JKLM by around point Q by 111 degrees. And just for uh, to help you all visualize, let's put back the, the swings back in because your papers will retain them. There's the construction marks for J prime, K prime, L prime, and M prime. Well done. So it's so. What do you think? We're all d -d 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 finished. Yay! Say congratulations, Nani. Yay, Nani.